everyone. How are you? My name is Bobby King. I am from Middle East. Welcome back on my YouTube channel. I hope you are fine there. God give you more happiness for you all. You live always happy there. Your one stop destination for all things related to the Raki Dinar. As you know in my videos, I try my level best to give you the most recent update of Raki Dinar. Please don't forget hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Watch complete video for support me. Let's start to the latest update about the Iraqi dinar. The economic landscape of Iraq is undergoing significant transformation, primarily driven by the policies of the Central Bank of Iraq. One of the key strategies in this financial overhaul is the withdrawal of excess liquidity from the market. This maneuver is designed to stabilize and enhance the value of the Iraqi dinar, and it holds profound implications for the country's economy and its citizens. In this article, we will delve into the mechanics of liquidity withdrawal, the relationship between supply and demand, and the broader economic context surrounding these developments, including potential changes in purchasing power and the impact of the hydrocarbon law. Understanding excess liquidity Excess liquidity refers to the surplus funds in the financial system that exceed the necessary operational levels for businesses and consumers. When banks have more money than they can effectively lend or invest, it can lead to various economic challenges, including inflation and currency depreciation. In Iraq, the CBI's approach to managing excess liquidity has been multifaceted. By withdrawing excess liquidity, the central bank aims to absorb these surplus funds reducing inflationary pressure and stabilizing the value of the dinar. The mechanism for this withdrawal typically involves the sale of government bonds, treasury bills, or other financial instruments, effectively taking dinar out of circulation. The impact of withdrawing excess liquidity on the dinar when the CBI removes excess liquidity from the market, it effectively reduces the overall supply of the dinar. According to basic economic principles, when the supply of a currency decreases, its value tends to rise, provided that demand remains constant or increases. This relationship between supply and demand is crucial in understanding how the CBI's actions can enhance the value of the dinar. Enhancing Currency Value Supply and demand dynamics The principle of supply and demand dictates that a decrease in the supply of the dinar will lead to an increase in its value. By absorbing excess liquidity, the CBI is creating a more favorable environment for the dinar, encouraging its appreciation against other currencies. This is particularly important in a market where currency depreciation has historically been a concern. The CBI's recent statements indicate that they are working toward a stronger dinar, aiming for a value that surpasses the Jordanian dinar. This ambitious goal reflects a broader strategy to enhance the purchasing power of the Iraqi currency, providing citizens with greater economic stability. Reducing note count and increasing value The CBI is also focused on reducing the note count and circulation. The removal of three zeros from the currency, as part of a broader strategy, signifies a move towards a more manageable currency system. By effectively reducing the volume of dinar in circulation, the central bank aims to instill confidence in the currency and enhance its perceived value. A reduced note count can simplify transactions and make it easier for consumers to engage with the economy. Moreover, by eliminating excess currency from the market, the CBI is creating an environment where each dinar holds more purchasing power ultimately benefiting consumers and businesses alike. A timeline for change. Stopping auctions and lifting zeros The CBI has communicated to the public a timeline for when they will cease currency auctions, which has been a staple of their monetary policy. These auctions have traditionally been used to manage exchange rates and provide liquidity to the market. However, the decision to stop these auctions is a significant shift in policy and signals the CBI's confidence in the dinar's future stability. The announcement regarding the lifting of three zeros from the dinar is a major step in this process. It signifies not only a cosmetic change but also a fundamental shift in the currency's value and the economy's structure. As the CBI prepares to implement this change, they assure citizens that they will be receiving enhanced purchasing power, aligning with their broader economic reforms. Strengthening the dinar against the Jordanian dinar One of the most striking claims made by the CBI is their assertion that the Iraqi dinar will become stronger than the Jordanian dinar. This statement carries significant weight and reflects the central bank's commitment to revitalizing the Iraqi economy. To achieve this goal, the CBI is focused on various factors, including boosting oil revenues, implementing the HCL, 
and fostering an environment conducive to foreign investment. As these measures take effect, the value of the dinar is expected to appreciate, positioning it competitively against regional currencies. Reaching real effective exchange rate The concept of the real effective exchange rate is crucial for understanding how the dinar will perform on the international stage. The CBI aims to float the dinar to achieve a rear around $4.25, which would enhance its competitiveness in global markets. A strong rear not only reflects a currency's value but also indicates the overall health of the economy. As Iraq works towards this goal, the CBI's efforts to withdraw excess liquidity, reduce the note count, and enhance the currency's purchasing power will play a pivotal role. The hydrocarbon law and its implications The hydrocarbon law is another critical aspect of Iraq's economic reforms. This law governs the management of the country's vast oil resources and is integral to Iraq's fiscal stability. As the CBI implements measures to withdraw excess liquidity, the successful passage and implementation of the HCL will further bolster the dinar's value. Impact on oil revenues and the economy Iraq's economy is heavily reliant on oil revenues, which account for a substantial portion of government income. The HCL aims to create a more transparent and efficient framework for managing these resources, attracting foreign investment and boosting economic growth. As oil revenues increase, so too does the potential for enhancing the dinar's value. With a strong HCL in place, the Iraqi government can better manage its resources, allowing for increased public spending and investment in critical infrastructure. This, in turn, will create a more stable economic environment conducive to currency appreciation. Strengthening confidence in the dinar The CBI's commitment to the HCL is also essential for restoring confidence in the dinar. By ensuring that oil revenues are managed effectively and transparently, the government can reassure citizens and investors that the currency will retain its value over time. As the CBI continues to withdraw excess liquidity, the combined effects of the HCL and monetary policy reforms will create a more favorable economic landscape for the dinar. This will further enhance its purchasing power, allowing citizens to enjoy a higher standard of living. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.